You are listening to the New Jersey Business Podcast with your friend, host, all-around good guy, Paul Valverde. Now, on to the show. What's shaking, New Jersey? Thank you very much for joining me in another episode of the New Jersey Business Podcast. Today's special guest is Ben Levin. Ben Levin is an autistic teenager who is an author, and he has recently released a young adult novel called In the Hole, and will soon be coming out with a children's book series. Ben, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you, Ben. Ben, will you please uh, share with our audience a little bit about yourself? Hmm. I've been writing since I was 10. I love going on walks. I love to read. I love spending time with friends. My goal is to try and write stories that people can enjoy and help other people believe in themselves and their dreams and help reduce the stigma around autism and help people on the spectrum realize every thing that we're capable of and more. Excuse me. Ben, I have to tell you, I am very impressed. Um, I read the introduction to In the Hall, and I'm, I'm very impressed by your writing skills. You say you've been writing since you were 10 years old and you are 18 now, am I right? 19. And 19 years old. What do you mean by the introduction? I meant by the description of the novel. By the way, will you be willing to share maybe a teaser about uh, the novel? Absolutely. Will you please? You want me to do it now? Yeah, sure. Okay. In the Hole is about a young boy named David Hole, who's after his father loses his job, their family is faced with homelessness. This, David narrates the book and he, he and his family go through every child imaginable from alcoholism to bullying to hunger to illnesses. It's, they find shelter at an inn and David fights to stay positive. It's a, not an easy read, but one which is, but one which has some but one which tries to stay up spirited david david tries to stay up spirited even as he loses everything and so it's a story of of hope as he uh continues to uh maintain a good spirit even in spite the trials and tribulations that him and his family faces yes uh, may i ask you what inspired you to write this book other than the fact that homelessness is a very timely issue right now since i mean it's not timely homelessness will god willing it won't but it's estimated to last at least a few more years, but I was inspired in eighth grade by when my rabbi at religious school showed me a video about children facing homelessness in Florida. Seeing this video made me think, maybe I can write something which can help people become more aware and help fight against the crisis. Yes, thank you for sharing that. You know, I have uh, years of involvement with nonprofits that serve uh, the homeless population. And it is very sad. You know, years ago, the image that someone got when uh, they talked about a homeless person, it was probably a grown male adult who probably has some sort of addiction problem. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that change over time, and then you had families becoming homeless, and this included children, uh, which is which is something certainly important to bring awareness to. And I'm glad that uh, that you took that upon yourself to do that. Uh, ben, are you still in high school? 
Yes, I'm graduating in three months, though. Wonderful. Congratulations. Thank so you. Tell me about you juggling your time between school, perhaps other activities, and writing. It's not an easy journey. I have... I do okay in school, mostly, mostly around Bs sometimes A's, occasionally C's, but I'm, and I'm also a part of the literacy magazine at my school, and I'm doing a show in a few weeks, and I'm, and last fall I managed soccer, so I, I definitely do a lot, but I try writing whenever I find time, mostly either when I'm at home or in between classes. And sometimes I I basically just try writing whenever I can. Uh, Ben. With uh, April being Autism Acceptance Month and um, you being autistic, will you please share a little bit about your thoughts on autism? Uh, you mentioned the stigma that sometimes people have. Uh, will you please talk about that a little bit? People, there are is still a lot of people acting like having autism is the worst thing in the world. And there are pe- and there are people who think that autism should be removed and that we shouldn't ha- have it. And like, it's the burden when it's not. We live in a world that wasn't built for us and we need, well, and we can make, progress the way anyone else can and but at the same time we need people to go part of the way for us and try and help make the world more accommodating yes certainly so um the world should be more accommodating and thank you for sharing that i really appreciate that Uh, I know you have a children's uh, book series coming up. Is there anything uh, you could share about that? Yes, it's about a young girl named Nellie who after she moves from New York to Illinois and loses all her friends in the process, making new friends becomes her favorite thing to do. And in each book, she makes a new friend and they have an adventure together. The first, I wrote 44 of these and the first five books are coming out in a month. Awesome. That is great. What, that, that is, so Nelly is a young girl who moves and as she uh, meets new friends, she has some sort of adventure with each of these friends. And that's what each book is about. Yes, making friends is her favorite hobby after the move since she loses all her friends. And what inspired you to write uh, this uh, book series on Nellie, the uh, friend-making child? When I was 11, I went through a period where I was very, very interested in things stereotypically for girls like dolls and and books about them. And this, I wanted a way to explore this. And I, and Nellie's Friends was what I did for this. And mm -hmm, my main inspiration for Nellie's Friends came from the writing from the author, Sue Bentley, who wrote four of my favorite series, as well as a solo, Magic Puppy, Magic Kitten, Magic Bunny, Magic Pony, and Magic Reindeer. <laughs> in, each ser- in each book, 
the um the magical talking animal meets a young girl and the two of them have their own adventures together and I asked I decided to make of Nellie's friends named after the girls who meet the magical animals which I wrote to Ms. Bentley to do for permission to do and she said yes Sue Bentley's books with with all she really inspired me and were one of my favorite books to read as a child and still are now that's wonderful well Sue Bentley if you're listening thank you very much for doing that Mm -hmm. Ben, um, what are your plans uh, for uh, maybe the next few years, you know, after high school, um, besides writing, of course? Uh, I'm going to Fairleigh Dickinson University. Oh, that's great. And then when I'm done, I'm go my plan is to move to a town in nearby in New York where I used to live and stay there for at least a few years maybe my maybe for life and I'm thinking of since I know writing and the arts is not an easy job and it's not an easy job to market I would love to write full-time but realistically I think it might I I probably need another job as well. So I would love to teach English. I'm sure, I'm sure you'd be really good at that. Uh, by the way, may I ask, um, in writing, um, as a writer, right? Is it more the inspiration uh, that brings you to write meaning the stories, or is it a love for the language, words, vocabulary, grammar, etc.? It's the stories. The stories itself. Yes. Well, Ben, uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you for sharing about your uh, young adult novel, In the Hole, and also about the children's book series that you'll be coming out soon. Uh, thank you for speaking up about autism, particularly this month being Autism Acceptance Month. I really appreciate you. Uh, thank you for being a guest on the show. And there you have it, folks. Ben Leving, uh, you can look him up. We're going to link all his information uh, in the different platforms we're on, in Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, you're going to find us everywhere. And also, we're going to include the link uh, to his book in the hall so you could purchase it. Ben, Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate you. No problem. I really appreciate you saying all of that. And thanks for having me. Thanks for tuning in to today's show. If you or someone you know would like to be a guest on the show, go to NewJerseyBusinessPodcast.com. That's NewJerseyBusinessPodcast.com. We can't wait to hear from you and your business. You can also visit our website to learn about sponsorship opportunities and how to qualify for a complimentary gift. Thanks again for listening to the New Jersey Business Podcast.